What up everybody, Mark Galloway here. What's up guys, me again, Tom McGee here. And we're here at Arby's. We've been hearing about the trending of this meal, this limited edition meal that they're, that they're promoting, this specific movie that's been released back in the 90s, Good Burger. Recently, Good Burger 2 was just released and they're promoting the movie with their own variants of the Good Burger that we're gonna, yeah. that we're gonna taste test. So, what is your verdict on what it's gonna be like? My verdict? Oh my god, I hope it exceeds my expectation. I hope it tastes like from, from the movie, I hope. I wouldn't, I don't know for sure though, because like judging by the movie, I mean, it, it, it's definitely delicious, I definitely yeah. know that, but for the Ed sauce, it's kind of like hard to anticipate what it tastes like because I never really tried it. True. Yeah, but we, we also have our milkshakes and french fries, hey. basically from the movie. We're gonna try the main portion though first. So, let's unwrap this right here. And it looks good. It looks good from what it is. Mine, uh, here, let me give you a, let me give you a close up look. So here's what the burger looks like. Ooh. It just looks like it has like a lack hey. of, it almost looks like as if it has a lack of lettuce, but there is a good amount in there. It yep. look, it looks delicious though. So uh, I'm ready, ex I'm excited. I can't wait to try it. Um, I can't, uh, the only thing I just can't tell for sure is that like, um, it doesn't look doesn't look like if there's any sauce in it. That's the thing. It just looks like it's mainly cup. Well, I do see sauce. It just looks like it's cheese all blended in. Yeah, kinda. All right. Well, anyways, uh, we're, let's just hope that we can taste the sauce in there. That's the most important thing. But anyways, here we go. First bite. Cheers. Cheers to that, brother. Hmm. Pretty good. Nice. So, the sauce, from what I can taste, it just has like a little bit of that. It's just mainly taste of the Thousand Island style of sauce. Yeah. I mean, it's not a big problem. It's not a big problem necessarily. Let me get another bite. Mm. So it's, it's good. It's definitely good. It's not a big deal. It's just that it just doesn't really taste like anything new, as far as I know. Yeah. The only thing we just need to know for sure is that we need to copy the recipe of the Ed's sauce and then, and then try it that way. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna have to give this a, this, my honest, excuse me. Okay, so my, bur my honest verdict on the burger, I'm gonna give it a solid seven. It's not, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, I'll give it that. It's delicious, it's, it's good. I definitely would try it again. Just not new. Yes, it just, yeah, it doesn't taste like, it's definitely new to Arby's because we rarely see a burger coming from Arby's. Yeah. And I definitely give it a thumbs up, absolutely. The thing is, is that like, it just tastes like a burger that I've had dozens and dozens and dozens of times before. It just doesn't really taste like anything new. So what's your thoughts on it? My thoughts on it, well, well, it kind of does taste like. Well, I'm gonna give another bite real quick. It tastes all right. I gotta say that. Like, the the patty itself, like, it kind of feels like a little bit like moist a little bit, just a little bit. And um, overall, the like, the, like we say, it's not too much lettuce, not too much a whole nine. And my verdict, it's not the best, but it's cool, it's good, it's delicious. I would give it like a seven point two out of ten. For me personally, it just well, not the best. Yeah, I mean, would would I try it again? Oh yeah, absolutely. I definitely would come here again. I definitely would get it again. It's just the burger that's just. And it's okay. It's like, uh, no offense, like, I'm not trying to say Ed's burger or Good Burger is bad. I definitely would like to try it. It's just that this just honestly tastes so, uh, like a burger that we've had, you know, t time and time again. So we'll give it that. Okay, anyways, um, now that the burger's out of the way, let's try the french fries. Now, the french fries, I'm gonna be honest, brutally honest, I'm not really expecting it to be you know, the best fries of all time, because like, here's the thing, the crinkle fries, so I'm not really gonna be expecting like a full blast of flavor from the fries because we had crinkle fries before, because like, this is honest, this is just not a new thing. 
Yep, now the new thing. Yeah, so we're gonna so we're gonna try them plain first, and then we'll try them with cheese after this. So let's just get right to it. Nah, it's no normal. No, yeah, no seasoning, no salt, nothing. Nada. So. I mean, I love fries. It's just that these ones just don't have flavor. We do have cheese cups, though, so maybe that'll help a little bit. Yeah. So, here it goes. A little bit. But honestly, it's just not enough to save the fries for me. So, fries, bottom of the barrel. So, I'm just going to give it a one. So, honestly, it's... I had Kringle fries before, so I had worse, so... Two. All right. For me, I had to give it a one, two. Yeah, I definitely recommend getting McDonald's fries instead. Yeah. Okay. The last thing we're going to review is the milkshakes. Now, we had dozens of milkshakes in our days in the summer. So, here it is right here. the With whipped cream, strawberry milkshake. Um, don't know what to expect here. So, let's give it a cheers to this. Uh, it's a little struggle. From my end, it's a little struggle to really get it in. Same. Yeah. It's a uh, struggle. It's good. It's, it's really good. So, ah, loud cars going by. Um, oh, damn. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> strawberry milkshake with uh, whipped cream, it's definitely good. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely better than the fries, though. So, but. Honestly, like I said, just like the burger, just like the fries, nothing new. I mean, it's still a typical milkshake, but I'm gonna give it a, but I'm gonna give it a solid 6.5. I mean, the only issue is that like these straw. I don't know if it's the straws or whatnot, or if it's the milkshake. I think it's straw. I yeah, guess. it just feels like you're not really getting the milkshake in. True. But uh, <laughs> use me. But but honestly, but it's still good. So. My thought, so my overall thoughts on the Good Burger meal, I'm gonna be honest, it's definitely a 6.5 for me as a whole. The burger is pretty good. It just tastes like uh, something that we had over and over oh, before. Yes. Fries, bottom of the barrel, we had worse, so yeah. nothing new there. Uh, the milkshakes is all same thing, just like the burger, good, but nothing new. Yep. But overall though, I mean, when I try it again, definitely for sure. Oh, and if you want to get like really good fries from Arby's, from one from my time over here, definitely get the curly fries. They're more seasoned, they're more flavorful. Anyways, guys, we're gonna conclude the review here. We're gonna finish our food, and then we'll see you guys in the next video. And I want to thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. We're nearly at the, we're at halfway point, halfway point of 1,000 subscribers. So let's keep growing, and be sure to subscribe to Time C two three nine six. Yeah. Be sure to watch his content. He's very good. Anyways, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Peace like, out. Comment and subscribe. Um, be sure to watch Good Burger 2. Not advertised.